Welcome everyone to the Regenerative Living Channel. I'm your host, Andy Garcia, and today we're talking about alpine strawberries, or more specifically about harvesting alpine strawberry seed, as you can see here, here, and basically everywhere. <laughs> the idea is that the berry itself, every single seed on it, is a, is a potential new strawberry plant. And so we just take a container like so, and I've already actually started doing this a little bit. And you just rub it if you want to separate the seed and have many plants planted out. Or what you can do is you can actually take the entire berry and just store it like so. The only thing is when you're storing your, your berries or um, if you're storing this entire fruit, you want to ensure that it's thoroughly dried because if it has any moisture whatsoever, especially if it's stored in something that will contain water or moisture, it's likely going to get mold. So if you're gonna again use a, an entire berry, make sure it's thoroughly dried, which I can guarantee you ours are because they've been sitting out here in 100 degree weather every single day. So that's it really, it's very simple. You literally just pluck the berry off and you just rub it together like so and you have many seeds for many berry or many plants or you can again save the whole fruit and plant the whole fruit which i actually recommend if possible planting the entire uh, strawberry because it'll just give you a bigger bush a more productive bush much quicker uh, and then this that i just rolled in my hand will go oh okay that's not a good example let me just remember too that if you have a healthy soil that your your berry and those seeds are likely carriers of beneficial microbes so it's not a horrible thing to actually save the whole package because you might get some extra microbes and maybe even some food for those microbes to grow on while they're they're getting established and helping that that seed establish boop so thanks everyone for hanging out it's been super cool also taking a quick look you can see our strawberries need a little bit more love and that's just because essentially they're potted in a raised bed with a mulch barrier underneath which i'm not a fan of by the way so i don't recommend mulch barriers for most cases at least um, but the point is is that if you see some stress strawberries it's because they're potted we haven't given them some love lately we will give them some compost tea and some compost extracts but back to the strawberry seed if you guys understood it give us a like give us a subscribe comment if you have questions i'd love to answer them so just remember everybody every day is earth day when you live regeneratively have a great day